Hey guys, it's Impacts here, and in today's video I've got for you the custom tactics that I used to get to the Elite Division, but also the tactics I currently use in the Elite Division, okay? As you can see by the Division Rivals Leaderboard, we are in the Elite Division, we are ranked 22nd right now, so it, it's all going well. These tactics are working extremely, extremely well for me. So if these tactics help you guys out, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribed for more content. I know my uploads have been a little bit a little bit sketchy uh, the last few days basically I've had none but I'm planning to get back into the rhythm back into doing uploads squad builders tactics gameplay videos all of that all right so let's get into the custom tactics now they are four three three four custom tactics all right um they're not like if you guys want to see me do any other formations let me know if you want to see me do four two three one etc because I know, I know this formation is not like the most like meta, but I feel like this year people are going to realize how good it is. As you can see by like the rank, obviously I'm top twenty in the world right now, so but they are very very strong. Obviously the team is also very very strong, but uh, I've put a lot of thief points on, so and I'm playing against teams that are basically the same as mine, if not better, every single game. So just bear that in mind, right now. The reason that the reason why I tried this four three three four is because just because like I've really really enjoyed four three two one, but I've really really missed not having a cam right. If you guys have seen my last tactics video, you know I've done four three two one. You know I loved this formation, but I just I felt like I was missing a cam, and I love cams. I've always loved a central cam because last year my main formation was four three one two. And the formation or the the my main formation before was four two three one. Central cams, and I needed one, so this is why I use four three three four. Obviously, Neymar in the middle, Pelé up top, and Messi and Mbappé out wide for the finesses. Right, so tactics, defensive style balanced. I, I I do like a press, but this year I feel like, especially with the way I play this formation, having a press just leaves my team way way too exposed. Yeah, leaves my team way way too exposed. Fifty width, fifty depth. This year, especially with the depth. As I've explained in previous videos, this year for whatever reason, the the depth does nothing. You pound a hundred depth, you pound zero depth. The, the game does nothing. Okay, like it, nothing changes. It, it, if they patch this, I may change the depth, but I use fifty at the minute, and just just because it doesn't do anything. Build up play, I use balanced. I feel like fast build up or long ball. Everyone just runs away from you. So you don't have any options like in the midfield or anything to build up. And slow build up, just like, it's just not me. It's just not me. Now, direct passing. The reason why I use this this year is because, I don't know, I think pros are starting to figure out the meta this year. And that meta is driven passes into your strikers. If you get the ball with your midfielders and you've driven it into your strikers, uh, the, the passes are crazy, crazy effective, all right? They are so, so good. Like, if you guys haven't tried driven passes this year, I'd highly recommend you do. Especially when your strikers are running in behind and they've got a little bit of space. Just driven pass into them on the edge of the box. Like, the, the, the passes are crazy accurate. They're crazy quick. They, they catch defenders off guard. It's just so, so good. That's why I use direct passing. Forward runs is just, like I say, I feel like everyone just runs away from you again. Like what fast build up would be. So direct passing is the perfect medium. 15 width. This, like, I can't really explain why I use 15 width until I get into my instructions. So I guess I'll come back into this. But I want my team to be really narrow, basically. That's all I'm going to say now. But when I get into my player instructions, I will explain this more, right? Now, players in box 8. I want players in the box this year. It's really, really hard to score. I want people in the box. I want multiple options. I want... I want that extra pass on every time because that that's the only way I can really score this year is passing it across and banging it. All right, well it's not the only way, but it's one of the most effective ways. This year you need to sort of dribble to make the extra pass. In previous years you sort of used extra skills, extra little, extra little turns to get the shot off. But this year you need to use the extra skills and extra turns and extra ball rolls etc to get the pass across to shoot. Because the keeper seem to, if you pass it across the box and shoot the other post. Or the post that you're standing on. It, it seems like the keepers sort of get lost a bit and don't, don't react quick enough. Corners I have a 1 just because I don't want to get counted. Same as free kicks. 
I feel like this is always what's going to happen in every FIFA. Just have the corners and think it's really low to see them get counter attacked. Now, let's go on to the instructions. And the first instruction I'm going to talk about is my fullbacks, because it ties into my whip. So I have my fullbacks on balance and overlap. The reason why I have this, have these on, is tied in with the wingers as well. So I have my wingers on cut inside, get into the box. Yeah, so I have my wings on cut inside, get into the box, and also my wing or oh, my fullbacks on balanced overlap. Because I play 15 width, right? So the 15 with the 15 width, my wingers sort of tuck in when I'm attacking. So I sort of play like with three up top. And then my fullbacks can attack down the wing with loads of space because the fullbacks the, the opponent's fullbacks follow the wingers right inside. Which gives my fullback space to attack down the line and they're free every time. The only issue with my fullbacks on balanced is you obviously get counterattacked a lot. Alright. You get counterattacked all the time. Which is why you've got to be really, really good with your player switching. Um you've got to be really, really good with your player switching, with knowing when how to defend, what defenders to control, etc. So yeah, but that that's why I use the width and that's why I use my full bits on balance and my wings on cutting side. It's also, the meta this year is finesses outside the box. Finesses from 25, 30 yards, 20 yards, right? They are really, really strong. Especially with players like Mbappe, Messi, Pelé. That's another reason why I have cutting side. So, oh, what am I doing? So, my strike is on stay central, stay forward. If you have this guy on balance, what will happen is your wingers and your striker will interchange it or interchange. Basically they'll always switch positions so Pelé will be right wing, Messi left wing and back up front. Which is just I want like I want a structure to this team. I don't want players to be run all over the place. So that's what I noticed when I had balanced on him. He just he just switched positions a lot, which is not really what I wanted. You have to have your cam on stay forward this year. You have to have your cam on stay forward every year. It was the same as the 4312 last year. If if your cam's not on stay forward, your team just don't play right. They 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 play in really weird positions. He'll go to left mid, right mid, left back, right back. Your cam, it's really really strange. So make sure you have him on stay central, not stay central. Make sure you have him on stay forward. All right. Now you need one of your centre mids on stay back cover centre because and you need him to be a defensive beast. That is why I have Vieira. I might get the mid Vieira as well. That is why I have Vieira. Cheaper options, maybe a Sissoko. I don't really know any other tall, tall players. A Kante is very, very good. I know he's small, but he's very good defensively. But preferably, you need someone who's tall, who's strong, and who will stay back. You Because, like I say, you get counter-attacked quite a bit with this team with the fullbacks on balance. But, saying that, attacking-wise, this is very, very strong. Also, make sure you have a centre mid who's on balance cover centre. Someone who's good on the ball. Someone who can finesse it from outside the box. Bruno's perfect. I might try De Bruyne, but I'm not sure whether I'm getting on with Bruno that well or not. He is good, but I feel like I can get better. I feel like I can get better. And my keeper's just on nothing. I haven't messed around with comes for crosses this year. But yeah, I think that's everything. I think I've gone through everything there. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say. So, if you guys enjoyed, um, if you guys enjoyed these tactics videos, make sure you drop a like if they help you out. Make sure you recommend it to people, etc, etc. Oh yeah, another thing I was going to say is obviously make sure you subscribe to the channel, but if you guys can figure out how to get this team on less than two players off chems, obviously at the minute I have Mendy and Marquinhos off chem. If any of you guys have got to the end of the video and know a way for me to get less than two players off chem, so only one, just let me know in the comments because I'm sure there's a way, I just haven't figured it out yet. So yeah, that's, that's basically it for me for the video. I'll speak to you all in the next one.